And your name is? Hi, I'm Betty Beekeeper, otherwise known as Donda. I'm from San Francisco, and I'm also from Occupy Monsanto. The Earth is at a tipping point. We are simultaneously hitting peak water, climate change, and polluting what's left of our natural resources. Plants, animals, and people cannot adapt fast enough, and we have about three years or less to mitigate climate change before it takes on a life of its own and starts snowballing. People all over the globe are on the move, escaping drought, floods, and conflict caused by competition for resources. Corporations are grabbing farmland, privatizing water, and putting patents on crops in their wild relatives. Meanwhile, they're publicly denying climate change is real so that they can continue to spew emissions with impunity. They want to own, package, and sell to us what it's already rightfully ours. Clean air, food, and water is a right, not a commodity. No company personifies what's wrong with this system more than Monsanto. Patenting the plant genetics needed to adapt to a warming world, enslaving farmers for contracts, and permanently poisoning soil so that only GM crops can grow there, uh, trying to wipe out organic small producers so we don't have a choice of what goes into our bodies, and even a patent on human breast Human breast um, The USGS reports there's so much rice milk, which is Monsanto's Roundup herbicide, being dumped on crops in the heartland that is showing up in the rain in the Mississippi River Basin, which is not just the Delta, but several states. And wrap your brain around what happens when an herbicide rains on endangered wetlands, forests, crops, and backyards. Imagine what happens when millions of tons of pesticides, herbicides, run off farmland and into waterways, aquatic ecosystems and down the Mississippi River into the Gulf fishing run. And that's just the chemicals. Recent studies show that microRNA from food you eat can survive digestion, cross kingdoms, plants and mammals, and become part of your gene, potentially altering their expression. You literally are what you eat, and we have every right to know what's in our food. The American Academy of Environmental Medicine has called for an immediate moratorium on genetically modified food. That was five years ago. Nothing has been done. So why is big ag up the Mississippi and Missouri rivers allowed to kill the fishing industry downriver? Why do they allow potential gene scrambling food to be peddled to kids? Citizens United allows Monsanto to pull millions into campaigns, and they expect a return on their investment. They have shoes placed in every branch of government and every regulatory agency. The FDA's food czar, Michael Taylor, is a former Monsanto lobbyist. A lobbyist is deciding what's safe for your kids to eat. The USDA's Secretary of Agriculture is a former Monsanto lobbyist. Justice Clarence Thomas is a former Monsanto lawyer. He paved the way for patents on life. Secretary of Defense Hillary Clinton has deep ties to Michael Taylor, and diplomatic cables released by WikiLeaks, thanks to Bradley Manning, show that she's using her position to force Monsanto on other countries in exchange for aid. Aid has never been more profitable. Franklin D. Roosevelt said, a country that destroys its soil destroys itself, and that's exactly what we're doing. If corporations are people, Monsanto is the worst terrorist organization the world has ever seen. Poisoning our farmland and water so we cannot feed ourselves should earn them a seat in the electric chair, not the Supreme Court. For the sake of humanity, the biosphere, and our country, we take back control of our food system. Reject GM food. Demand labeling. Grow your own if you can. Share your seeds. Grow share seeds and give them away. It's time to fight for your life, literally. It's now or never. Overturn Citizens United, get money out of government, occupy Monsanto, occupy Wall Street. Thank you very much.